Hey guys, the cute dude here, and today I have some very important news. I've been thinking about this for the past couple of weeks, and although I enjoy making YouTube videos, I'm just not happy with some aspects of my channel. All the videos I upload do not get as many views as some other channels, for example, Just Keep Cubing's channel, who has less subscribers than me, gets more views per video. And so uh, DaftCube also brought five to 6,000 inactive subscribers to my channel. And although I did enjoy the publicity, I did not enjoy the outcome. Because of this, and also the fact that every other channel, such as J.R. Cuber, Crazy Buddy Cuber, Red KB, they all upload basically the same videos I upload before I even upload them. And also some personal and private things happening in my life, I've decided to stop uploading YouTube videos. I'm going to try to focus more on my schoolwork and my social life, as cubing has had a negative effect on that. This does not mean I'll quit cubing, but I will not be uploading uh, videos and I will be cubing just a bit less. I'll still be going to US Nationals as I promised and San Diego Splash, but I won't be recording any videos there. As for getting in touch with me, you can always email me. My email is down in the description and I always answer, but I won't be on Skype very often to talk to any, any of you guys because I'll be trying to avoid spending most of my days on Skype talking to people I don't even have a real connection with. As for my collection, I'm open to sell any of my puzzles other than my mains for a reasonable price. If you aren't sure what puzzles I have, just ask me if I'm selling anything, and the chances are high that I'll have it. I will also be posting pictures of my collection on my Facebook page, which can be found in the description. So you guys can just look through those pictures and see what I have. A lot of puzzles are hidden under the other puzzles, so just ask me if I have something, and if I do, then I'll most likely sell it. A lot of expensive puzzles such as Giga, Terra, and Petaminx, as well as a Smaz Time Machine, and most puzzles that are over $70, except for N by N by N puzzles, I usually don't have. I have a handmade ghost cube, but I won't be selling that. But all the other ghost cubes are for sale, except for my green one. Uh, so just email me what cubes you want and your price, and I'll get my mom to ship it out if I have it, as I'm in the state of Washington for school, so I can't really ship it because I'm not home. But it's a first-come, 1st first serve basis, but as long as you provide a reasonable price, I will send it over. For example, I won't be selling a Zanshi for $4 or a ghost cube for 20 I also will only be accepting PayPal. The last video I'll be uploading will be my 10k contest results, which ends on April 12th at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. So if you have not entered, I highly recommend you guys enter soon. So thank you guys for the support over the past three years, I've really enjoyed it, but I, I do have to put it aside. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's question is, would you rather be fluent in all languages, or be a master at all instruments? I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.